everyone. Welcome to the session of C Programming and Data Structures. In this session, we are going to understand what is data structure, how do we implement data structures, and we will also learn the different types of data structure. But before getting into depth, first let's understand what is data. A question arises, what is data? Data is nothing but these are the quantities, characters, or symbols on which operations are performed by a computer, which may be stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals and recorded on a magnetic, optical or mechanical recording media. Let's understand the difference between what is data and what is information. These are two different words. The key differences between data and information is that data and information are interrelated. Data usually refers to raw data or unprocessed data. It is the basic form of data, data that hasn't been analyzed or processed in any manner is known as data. Once the data is analyzed, it is considered to be as information. Or you can also say information is a knowledge communicated or received concerning a particular fact or circumstances. Information is a sequence of symbols that can be interpreted as a message. It provides knowledge or insight about a certain matter. So this is basically the difference between the data and the information. Now let's understand what do you mean by data structure with respect to programming. First of all, a data structure is nothing but it is an organization of data in a way so that it can be used efficiently. Efficiently means in terms of time and space. Data structures in C are used to store data in an organized and efficient manner. The C programming language has many data structures like arrays, stack, queue, linked list, trees, etc. A programmer selects an appropriate data structure and uses it according to their convenience. So we have already looked into what is array, what is queue, what is stack. Now it's time for us to understand what is linked list. When you talk about data structure, data structure is a logical or mathematical organization of data. Data structure is logical or mathematical organization of data. It describes how to store the data and access data from memory. Actually, in our programming, data stored in main memory, that is nothing but our RAM, and to develop efficient software or firmware, we need to care about the memory. So to access memory efficiently, to make use of the memory efficiently and store data, to efficiently manage what we require is all the data structures. Now let's quickly understand what are the advantages of having data structure. The major advantages of having data structure is data structures allow information storage on hard disks. It provides means for management of large data set such as databases or internet indexing services. It is also used for designing of efficient algorithms. It allows safe storage of information on a computer. The information is then available for the later use and can be used by multiple programs. Additional to that, the information is secure and cannot be lost, especially if it is stored on a magnetic tape. It allows the data to be used and processed on a software system. And it is also an easy way, or you can say it is also an easier way for processing the data. Now, when you look into the types of data structures, there are basically two types of data structures. The very first one is the linear data structure. When you talk about linear data structure, in linear data structure, the data elements are stored in a sequential manner. For example, if we talk about stack, queue, and linked list, these are the basic examples, or you can say these are the types of linear data structures. Now, when you move on to the next type of data structure, that is nothing but our nonlinear data structure. In nonlinear data structures, data elements are not stored in a sequential manner. For example, it's about the trees and graph. These are the basic examples of nonlinear data structures. 
Additional to that, linear data structure is also called as a static data structure and non-linear data structure is also called as a dynamic data structure. Now let's move on to what is linked list. A linked list is a linear data structure in which the elements are not stored at contiguous memory locations. The elements in a linked list are linked using pointer. Before moving on in depth with respect to linked list, let us first understand what is the difference between arrays and linked list. As we also know that array is also a known data structure, similar to it is the linked list wherein we have differences between each other. So let's talk about the differences between the linked list and the array. So when you talk about array, an array is a data structure consisting of collection of elements, each identified by an array index. When you talk about linked list, a linear collection of data elements whose order is not given by their memory location. Coming to arrays. Arrays supports random access, so the programmer can directly access an element in the array using an index value. But when it comes to linked list, it supports sequential access, so the programmer has to sequentially go through each element or node until reaching the required element. When we talk about arrays, elements are stored in contiguous memory locations. And when you talk about linked list, Elements can be stored anywhere in the memory. When you talk about arrays, programmers has to specify the size of the array at the time of declaring the array. But when it comes to linked list, there is no need to specify the size of the linked list. The linked list can be extended or compressed depending upon the requirement of the programmer. When you talk about arrays, memory allocation happens at compile time and it is a static memory allocation. When you talk about linked list, memory allocation happens at runtime and it is a dynamic memory allocation which we have already come across in our previous sessions. When you talk about array, elements are independent of each other and when you talk about linked list, an element or a node points to the next node or both next to or the previous nodes, an element or a node points to the next node. So there is a link between one node to another node. When we talk about arrays, insertion and deletion with respect to array take more time. But when you talk about linked list, insertion and deletion of the nodes takes lesser time and makes it easier process. Array does not have pointer, so no extra memory is needed. Linked list has a pointer, so some extra memory is also needed when it comes to linked list. Now let's understand what are the classification of linked list. Linked list is basically classified into three different types that is singly linked list, doubly linked list and circular linked list. So without wasting much of our time, let us move on to what is singly linked list. Singly linked list is nothing but it is a list of type of linked list. A singly linked list is a type of linked list that is unidirectional. That is, it can be traversed in only one direction from head to last node. Basically, when we talk about a linked list or a single linked list, a single linked list consists of a node and the node contains two parts. The first part is the data field and the other part is the reference field, which is known as a link field or also a pointer to the next node in the list, as you can see in the diagram. So basically, we can say each element in single linked list is termed as a node. Any node will have two parts. One is the data part, another one is link part, where more often also called as address part. Basically, in a single link list, we will be having a head pointer, which is always pointing to the first node. And there will be a last pointer, which will be always pointing to the last node. The only way to access the link list is a sequential order of accessing wherein we can access it through the head pointer or we can say the pointer pointing to the first node. The link part of the last node will be always null. 